Hi students. In last class, we discussed about first unit that is what is science. In today, session six up to session five, fifth unit, first unit is completed. And today we are going to start cell, the basic unit of life. Before going to the discuss about this, the basic unit of life. So what is cell? How the cell is formed? How the cell is formed? The group of cell is called as what? The group of cell is called as what? First, cell. So lesson starts about cell is the basic unit of life. It means without cell there is no life without cell there is no life whether it is plants or whether it is animals whether it is microorganisms whatever it may be that life if life is there that life is begin with the cell this cell is this cell is formed by protoplasm The cell is formed from the protoplasm. How this protoplasm is formed? This protoplasm is formed by nucleic acid. Nucleic acid. How this nucleic acid is formed? This nucleic acid is formed by molecule. Biosphere. Our Earth is a biosphere. 
in biospheres plants is there animals is there living things is there non living things is there water is there air is there sunlight everything is there in the biosphere so this is the history of how cell is going to form so in your class in your class we will discuss who discovered cell and when he discovered cell discovery of the cell before discovery of the cell there are so many scientists is there like kircher like john swammerdam and anthony van leeuwenhoek robert hook the scientists are they did so many experiments on the science finally discovery of science who discovered this story yeah. cell in year in 1665 1665 robert hook in 1665 robert hook discovered the cell robert hook discovered the cell how he discovered the cell there is a small brief story How Robert Hooke discovered the cell. He observed the cell in a oak tree. In a oak tree, he observed the cell in slices of the cord. Slices of cord in oak tree. It's a British scientist. Robert Hooke is a British scientist. He observed the slices of cord in oak tree. How he observed? When he observed the slices of cord, they look like a honeycomb. Have you seen the honeycomb? They will become tiny part. This is honeycomb. It will attach to the stick, and they have a small like this spaces. Honeycomb. When he observed this cell, this it resembled honeycomb. It resembled honeycomb. It's having a small like a cavity. It has a cavity. This cavity is called as a room. He named as a small room. This cavity is very small. Room. This room is nothing but cell. This room is nothing but cell. This this cell is a Latin word. It means little room. Little room. Cell is a Latin word. Science also Latin word. It came from scientia. It means knowledge. Like this cell also. It's a Latin word which means little room. So this cells are a dead cell. Dead cell. We can do this activity, a small activity. Observing, observing as we can't bring this honeycomb. We can observe, but we can observe this. We can observe this cell in. So the cell in mass tube. Observing mass stick. I give a lot. You can calculate a lot. So take a mass stick. Mass stick. Soak into the water. Take a bowl or whatever maybe. We should. So this mass stick contained with the water around half an hour or forty five minutes. We can soak in the mass stick in the water for half an hour. After soaking this mass stick, 
we should remove the elastic from the waters and first point cut it into the small slices put it in elastic cut to the small slices slices cut with the small slices small pieces and slices then take small slices place it on what place it on slide place it on slide take this one material place it on slide put it drop off next put it drop off water put it drop off water then put it drop off glycerin put it drop off glycerin we can observe the clear picture of the materials cover it cover sleeve observe under the microscope cover with cover sleeve means observe under the microscope precautions while we are spreading this materials properly on the slide this material should be applied with the blotting paper material should be spread with blotting paper because it will absorb the water present in the materials there should be no air bubbles there should be no excess water in the materials if water is there what happens instead of instead of observing cell we can see the air bubbles in the microscope that's why we should remove the excess water from the materials so simple experiment take the plastic soak it in the water for half an hour then take this uh mastics cut the small pieces or slices with the help of brush to place on the slide put a drop of water then put a drop of glycerin excess water sh should be removed or applied with the blotting papers cover the cover slip observe under the microscope when we observe this mastic in the presence of microscope we will look at the pictures like this Then the outer layer is called as cell membrane. The inside dark-like structure is called as nucleus. The liquid substance which is present inside the cell is called as cytoplasm. Cyto. and we also discuss one more simple activity that is observing onion peels observing onion peel observing onion for this activity we need onion simple onion we need everybody have onion in your box take onion and cut with a small piece Slide. Place it on slide. 
what we have to add one drop or two drop of water we have to add water on the materials then we should add glycerin should add glycerin on the materials by applying blotting paper Take blotting paper which is applied on the materials. What happens when we apply this blotting paper on the materials? It will uh, it will remove the excess water from the materials. Then the materials should be spread properly on the slide. The materials should spread properly on the slide. Then cover with cover sleeve. Cover with. Cover skin. The last point: absorb under the absorb under the microscope. Absorb under the microscope. Simple activity: observing onion peel. Observing onion peel. Take an onion bulb. We should cut it a small piece. Onions. There's a layer is there. Cut one layer. From the one layer, take a small slice of the onion peel. Place it on slide. Put a drop of water. Then put a drop of glycerin. Then apply with the blotting papers. It will remove the excess water from the materials. There should be no air bubbles. There should be no no air, water, or air inside the materials. We can't see properly in the presence of microscope. Then cover with the cover sleeve. Observe under the microscope. When we observe this materials in the presence of microscope, we look at the slide. The every cell, there is a layer is present. The layer is called as cell membrane. Another name of cell membrane is plasma membrane. Plasma membrane. Inside, nucleus is there. The liquid substances inside the cell is called as cytoplasma. In onion peel cell, there is another layer is there. Extra layer is called as cell wall. In all plant cell, extra layer is there. This extra layer is called as cell wall. It is not present in the animal cell. So this is the structure of the cell in onion. I hope understood it very easy. So the cell, the basic unit of life. We discuss how the cell is formed. And who discovered cell? Robert Hooke in 1665. In masking, we can see it's a dead cell. It's a dead cell. But Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Discover living cell. Living cell. This living cell is like protozoa. Easter. Red dead cells. So he also discovered living cell in the water. He also discovered living cell in water. Cell. Who cell is? Who discovered cell first time? The question is like we should say Robert Hooke in 1665. But who discovered first time living cell? The living cell is discovered by Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Anthony Van Leeuwenhoek. Right? 
red blood cells, protozoa, yeast, sperm cell also it discovers, and it also is discovered the organisms present in the water. So, students, this is the second lesson we discussed, and you should write today homework. So, today homework is first one is should write who discovered cell just four or five points Robert Hooke and how he discussed what he given a look at your workbook there is a discovery of cell is there just to write the discovery of the cell the next one is observing mass stick observing mass stick and the second one is observing onion peel observing mass stick and observing onion peel so this Two activities are very very important. You should write in your class work. So you read one thing. If you have any doubt, you have to read textbook. So some questions is there in the materials in our school materials. Just to go read this experiment in the materials, and you should follow the instruction. Thank you, students.